Hey everyone, this is Max, and uh, today I'm going to tell you how to format your own Pokédex entry and then send them to me and I'll put them together. I know some of you might have Photoshop, but uh, some of you don't, so I'd advise you to download GIMP. It's free, go to the downloads page and it should specify your OS automatically. Now this is a, a picture of a blank Pokédex entry, and I'll be posting this on Moodle sometime in the near future. At the top left, we'll have a picture of the Pokemon. Uh, in the top right, we'll have some stats, height, weight, but that's totally optional, and a type. In the bottom, we have a lot of free space for uh, others. So just now, that was just any old uh, image viewer, but what you do now is click Open Weight and then click GIMP. So now GIMP is going to open, and I'm going to skip a bit of footage. There we go. Here's GIMP. Now I'm just going to spend a bit of time running through the general interface so you don't get confused. The window that I'm going to close is called the toolbox. It might not be automatically open, so to open that, just go up to the toolbar, click on Windows, and click New Toolbox. Then, just reorient it in a way that pleases you. Now download any picture of a Pokemon. You should know this, you just right click and click Save Image As. Okay, so we'll do the same thing. We'll open it with GIMP by right clicking and clicking open with GIMP. Then I'll click Control A and Control C or Command A and Command C, depending if you're using a Mac or not. Then you can press Control V on the Pokédex entry. But then look, it's a bit too big when we pasted it, right? Well, luckily, Control Z to the rescue. Note that Command and Control are equal in this. So now what you can do is click on the uh box tool, it's at the top left of the GIMP toolbox, and you can select an area like I am now, and at the bottom, you'll see these uh, pixels, 153 times 178, stuff like that, so that'll tell you what the width and height is in pixels, so you can know how big to paste an image, you'll see what I mean later. So right now, it's about 150 and 188. Now I'm going to click on the uh, Snivy picture and right click image and then scale image so now I can scale the width and the height so that's image scale image and now I can scale it down to 150 and 170 it doesn't this uh, picture part doesn't have to be exact for everyone different pictures can have different sizes immediately after you paste you can move it around now we're going to do the same thing, but with the grass type icon. So we search that on Google Images, and hopefully it should show up. And sure enough, there it is. So, same protocol. Right click, save as. But whoops, that was an HTML, so you should always click view original image. Now that we've done that, so you save the image, and save it wherever you want, there you go. It's still the same protocol as before, so we click on uh, Finder or the home folder, whatever it is for your OS. Click open, right click, open with, click GIMP. Now, it seems a little small, but we're going to try to uh, paste it as it is. So, Control A, Control C, and you can see it becomes kind of sparkly on the edges. That's my best descriptive word for that. But now that you look at it, it seems a little small when we Command V or Control V it, it onto the uh, Pokédex. So we can scale the image bigger. And just for the sake of uh, uh, continuity, I'd suggest a 60 by 30 uh, width by height ratio. So let's, con let's control Z everything out of there. And finally, we can paste the bigger grass icon. And it should show up right over there. And you can drag it to wherever you want it to be. Two very important things I'd like to note is that if there's already an image that's sparkling around or has this uh, dotted border, you have to click somewhere else to get rid of that border. Get rid of the border before you paste. And also, once the border is no longer there, you can't drag the image. Okay, so by now you've learned enough about image manipulation. But notice how I'm clicking the uh, text I icon, the uppercase A. This will help you type. Left click anywhere in the picture and you can type into it. Whenever changing the properties of the font, always double click and select all. Note that you can change the font and uh, size and all of that, and you can uh, move it by uh, expanding the corners. Really what dragging the corner boxes does is uh, resizing the box, but you can move text that way too, which is what we'll be doing. And if you click on the black box at the right, you um you can change the color, and I've changed it to green. You just drag around uh, your mouse 
to change the color and we'll keep the uh, name font at size 20 and we'll keep it at sans. Now you can add text boxes anywhere but if you don't type in anything into them they're not saved so don't worry about that. So really what you can you can do anything with these text boxes and uh, we haven't I haven't decided a, a final font for all of the text but I'm assuming it's not going to be uh, sans because it's too comical. One thing to note is that if text goes outside of a border, press enter to go to the next line. But then again, this is just a tutorial to use GIMP. It's not yet something that uh, we've completely formatted. For example, the font and uh, where we should put some information like future ambition, favorite memories, and how we should call those like Snivy's Future School or something like that. Finally, the last thing you need to do is to be able to export your image uh, because GIMP saves its files as .xcfs and by the time you're done, you uh, .xcfs, you know, they're not really a very common file type so uh, click on the file at the top at the header and then click export and you can change the name or whatever and it might be JPEG, it might be PNG, it doesn't matter really. So choose where you want to save it and then you you can leave everything as it is really now when you click export you can see that uh there are all these weird fi uh file options but you know just ignore those i know nothing about any of those so go to the folder you saved it in and there you go it's an image and you can open it so thank you very much for watching, and uh, the Pokédex, the blank Pokédex image, I'll post it on the Moodle in the near future. And uh, in the future, I'll probably make another video about the formatting we'll use, such as where to put the shoutouts, favorite memories, what to name those. We'll work on those together, and also should we shop our faces onto uh, the Pokémon. We can all decide that stuff later. So thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you soon.